Tonight, CNN learning the Biden administration is getting ready to fly its first batch of baby formula from overseas. Now, it's crucial supply. It will include three formula brands for children who are allergic to cow milk, and it will be flown from Switzerland to Indiana within days. Now, it comes as the FDA chief comes under fire for the shortage, which is now in its third month. I can assure you FDA has been working tirelessly to address this issue. So within days, it will get better, but it will be a few weeks before we're back to normal. Now, Caleb says that Abbott, which is the company at the center of a baby formula recall that exacerbated the shortage, will have its Michigan plant back up in the next week or two. But the company says even after that, it's six to eight weeks minimum after production resumes to even get the formula back to shore, store shelves. So you're looking at a couple months more. And by the way, shelves were sparse because of COVID-related supply chain issues to begin with. But I just want to be clear about one thing here, because people seem to get upset when you're blaming. This is a problem. It is completely unacceptable that it has taken this long. When you have a major supplier go offline three months ago, and now only three months later are we actually having a freak out about it at the government level, that's just completely bogus and unacceptable. It impacts a massive number of families. 75% of parents in the United States are using formula by the time their babies are six months old. And that's according to the CDC and formal government figures. Out front now, Angela Konzak. Her two-year-old daughter, Brooklyn, depends on specialty formula because she has a rare genetic disease that requires her to be fed by tube. And we've been following her story throughout this crisis, and you may have first seen her speak with our Adrian Broadus out front last week in her special report. And Angela is back with me now. And Angela, I really appreciate your time. I mean, I, I, I you know, gosh, my heart goes out to you. I, I know Brooklyn was in the hospital recently. She had to be put on life support, and you shared some photos with us um, that are difficult to look at, but you, you know, we're sharing them because you wanted us so people to show them to people so they can understand what this is like. I mean, how concerned are you that she could end up back in the hospital if this, this shortage of what she needs to live continues? Honestly, um, I'm, I'm extremely terrified because the hospital is the last place an immune compromised child needs to be. So, so what, what, what is her situation now? So um, my daughter has a rare genetic disease called spinal muscular atrophy type one. Um, and she can only tolerate one formula. It's an amino acid based formula. And because of her disease, her body cannot break down animal fats and proteins. Um, and so she has to have this amino acid based formula. Um, right now I am having to scour <laughs> the internet to get this formula for her so that we do not end up back in the hospital. Um, if I'm unable to keep her formula in stock and she goes through one can every two days. Um, so if I'm unable to keep you know, her nutrition going, she's gonna have to be hospitalized for TPN IV nutrition. So, so this, is, this must consume your life every day. I mean, what is it like every day trying to go online to find formula just so that you can get her another couple of days? Uh, it is so exhausting, um, and not to mention, no matter where I look, the formula is price gouged so badly. <laughs> um, just to put it into perspective, on the manufacturer's website, um, a case of four cans, which is an eight-day supply for my daughter, normally cost $168. Right now, I've been having to pay upwards of $300 every eight days um, and have family members help, and we've had, you know, we've had some help from, from outside sources, but... It's, mm. it's ridiculous that it's costing that much, especially for my daughter who has a prescription for this formula, and we're unable to attain the prescription. And because of, of where you're sourcing it from? So normally she would get her formula shipped through her DME company, mm. and the DME company is unable to get the formula in stock. They haven't been able to send her formula prescription in three months now, which has left us scrambling and looking, you know, frantically for the formula just to keep her oh. home. Um, and if I find it, you know, like, for instance, a like a few days ago, I found um, a shipment at a Walgreens local. Um, Medicaid denied coverage of, of the formula there at that Walgreens because that's technically not a drug and it's over the counter. So they wouldn't cover it unless it's coming from the DME company, which left us having to pay out of pocket for 13 cans, which, you know, was $600. I mean, so I, thankfully we had some. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, obviously this is unacceptable and, and not sustainable. And, and I hope that that gets rectified, you know, going back when this is resolved. And I, you know, I obviously, 
but the FDA commissioner now says it's going to be a few weeks, right? That they're all on this, right? But obviously it's already been three months. Now it's this urgent thing, and now they're saying it's still going to be a few weeks, even if it moves urgently. I mean, is this good enough? No, it's not. And the second the babies were without formula, it should have been a national crisis right from there. Because three weeks or two weeks to, to them is nothing. But to us who, like, a family like me who's already medically, you know, have I have a medically complex child and I'm already financially strained, that's, you know, a couple thousand dollars for formula that I can't afford right now um, during a pandemic. Angela, thank you very much for explaining all of this. I hope people hear you and, and hear, you know, as you use the word frantic, that you're frantically searching and what you're going through financially. Uh, it is unacceptable. And I thank you for, for sharing this and for sharing those images of your daughter. I know it's hard to do. My thoughts are with you. Thank you. I appreciate that.